Louisiana Beer Reviews, Weissenhoeve Cluster Breweries, Monk's Christ Kindle, brewed by Cluster Brewery Weissenhoeve of Weissenhoeve, Germany. Uh, I already popped the top off. I had started the review and I realized I don't have my glass with me. Um, it just made a little psh and I popped it off. Not much of a charge, although I do see bubbles rising to the top. This on this is imported by Shelton Brothers and on Beer Advocate they're saying they don't know the alcohol. They they were saying they didn't know what it was, but on the bottle here it says 7.1, and they gave it a good score. The bros say outstanding, their second highest, but only 37 ratings. Ray Beer has a similar beer to this, but they were saying 5.1 percent alcohol, so it's got to be a different one. They, although the, the one they were looking at, they gave it a high score. Now Shelton Brothers says this is brewed according to Reinheitsgebot. Uh, German purity law and they had a link to this company's website but then the company's website doesn't even list this beer so <laughs> it shows a lot of others uh, I've, I've, I bought it at Stein's Deli I think it was like $5.99 or $4.99 a bottle I think $4.99 um, I've never seen it anywhere else so it's a special winter brew, even though it's not quite winter yet. It was 34 degrees last night. Don't see any smoke, and I didn't see any smoke when I popped the top. And they were saying it's a Bach. Well, 7.1 is more like a Doppelbach. Thick, cream-colored head, and the appearance under this... There's the sun right there. Strong sunlight is... Uh, mostly clear, a little haze to it, and you can see a lot of little fine particles, which is typical for most any beer under this such, such an intense sunlight. Lots of bubbles all around the sides of glass and streaming. It's making quite a crackle. They love making noise across the street. Any motor or engine, they just I think they spy on me, they see I'm making a review. Hurry up, rev the engines. Okay. <clears throat> it's probably true. Um, well, the aroma is a lot like most other double boxes. It's got that brown bread crust. <laughs> kind of syrupy, uh, uh, sort of uh, like a... Uh, it's hard to describe. It's like a strange, syrupy, brown bread crust. Very much like that Birra Moretti Rossa, which is around the same ABV. Uh, let's see about the flavor. Now, the Birra Moretti Rossa is a lot sharper in flavor. This is a lot more like comes across smoother, rounder. There's sweetness, there's breadiness, there's the the barley malt flavor to an extent. But the bitterness is is more balanced with the sweetness. And it's a little less cloying than the Rosso, although I'm not putting down that beer on Moretti beer. That's an awesome beer, but uh the Rosso, but um this is just you know it's different. I don't know if there's any beer re video reviews for this on the internet. This may be the first video review for this beer in the world, which was the case for some of the other Christmas beers I did. But I never did check to see if anybody had done any. I'm still trying to catch up on my uh, Heart of Darkness reviews, video reviews to watch those. Okay. Whew. Mrs. Renfro's Ghost Pepper Salsa. Let's see how it goes with this stuff. and I put too much. I don't think I'm going to need too much of this stuff. It says on the bottle, on the jar, I mean, not the bottle, the jar. Caution, scary hot. Okay, we're going to see about scary hot. Get some of these white cone chips. A little 
snack at 10 o'clock in the morning. May not quite be 10, maybe it's 9.56, but I think it just turned 10. Okay, uh, sauce initially is not that hot, but it's sort of like a delayed reaction. It kicks in. It's kind of like, eh, not too much there, and then, whoom. Your face will be sweating. <laughs> Open your sinuses up, though. Uh, I don't know about scary hot. I would say it's more like quite hot. <laughs> you go to Taco Bell and get their fire sauce and nothing fire about that. You could just drink that stuff. It goes well with this beer. I think a lighter beer would go better with it. Like um, that Ching Tao beer, I was, Ching Tao beer I was drinking last night. But this does go well with it. Um, the mouthfeel on this is uh. It's like between light and medium bodied. It's not a heavy beer, really. Uh, but it's not too light. The finish is semi dry. It's pretty refreshing and it's easy going. And I'll, I'll say this there's no off flavors, no off aromas. Sometimes you get these German beers with no date on them. And you don't know how long they've been sitting on the shelf. And they will have some, sometimes some really wangy aromas and flavors you know they just taste they don't taste right and I think that's because they're old or it might just because they make bad beer at their brewery um, but this one doesn't have any of those characteristics it's just like mm, nice no it's not super bold I you know I think I, I prefer the La Ross, the uh, Bira Moretti Rossa, because it's a little stronger. Yeah, you could say it's cloying, but it's a little more going. You know, it's got a little more going for it. But this one is nice and smooth and tasty, so. It does have a nice syrupy undertaste. I'm going to give it an A. A. Give it an A minus. Okay, it's excellent, but just so, because it's a little on the dull side. I mean, just a little on the dull side. It is rich enough, though. So, and that's the danger with this. It's kind of easy going, and you could drink a few. And 7.1, you're going to have some issues, but I'm only going to drink this one bottle since that's all I've got <laughs> of it. So, yeah. Les Les Bon Temps Roulé. This is an excellent beer to an extent. And the sauce is. Very good, but I have to say it's a little overhyped because it is certainly not scary hot. It's hot. But I got it on sale at Rouse's, like three forty nine a jar for that price. You know, it's worth checking. And no, maybe, maybe like three twenty nine. I don't know. It's worth checking out. I mean, I like hot sauce, but if it says scary hot, I want it to be where I cannot basically consume it. I want it to be overwhelmingly hot, not just like hot. So that's kind of phony, but anyway, the beer isn't phony, but they make no such ridiculous claims. Laissez les bon temps relay, good beer, good sauce, overhyped, but anyway. And I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to sunny, and this week it's going to be getting warmer. Southeastern Louisiana, come on down to New Orleans, go to the New Orleans Bowl. Don't wear this, you know, Christmas shirt, something like that to the bowl. I'm going to wear a lot of Tulane gear. Later, folks. <laughs>